Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this beautiful 2017 Dodge Challenger RT, and this one is equipped with the TA Plus package. As you can see, this one is finished off in a very unique green exterior, and I have to say at the start of this video, good luck finding another one that is optioned the way this one is, as clean as this one is, with the mileage this one has. This is a 2017 with less than 2,000 miles on it. But outside, as you can see, like I said, it's a green exterior. You have your TA graphics down the side. Also, the TA does give you a matte black hood. See some more accenting on the front bumper. You get the matte black roof and your matte black uh, trunk lid and rear spoiler. Outside, though, you can see your fuel cap is on the driver's side right there. Your nice old school cover on it. You do have body colored door handles, intelligent entry built in and your body colored mirrors with your blind spot monitoring built in, as well as they are heated mirrors. Up top, you can see the sunroof, radio antenna right there. And around the rear, your dual exhaust, rear parking sensors, this one is equipped with a rear backup camera as well, right there, and you have your intelligent entry to release the trunk. You can also see your Challenger TA badging. And over here, this one is riding on Goodyear Eagle RSA tires. These obviously are the factory tires, and they're obviously in great shape, considering they have under 2,000 miles on them. But as you can see, they are 245, 45, R20s. So you have 20 inch alloy wheels in the rear. These are the TA wheels as well. And then up front, same tire, the Eagle RSAs, and these are 245, 45, ZR20s as well, as you can see. And up front, you can see your functional hood pins that the TA does give you. So as your projector headlights, which are LED accented, and your fog lights down below. Go ahead, get in this one and start it up. It does include your typical Chrysler key fob with lock, unlock, and then press twice right here. It will release the trunk. We'll go ahead and step inside. As I mentioned, intelligent entry. Just have the key fob with you. Come up, and grab the door handle to unlock and touch right there to lock. Inside, this one does have the black leather interior. And since this is the TA package, you do get the very nice suede inserts on the seats, your TA badging. And this one is equipped with the Alpine audio system. You can also see your Dodge all-weather floor mats down below. And to start, foot on the clutch and just press and hold right here. And you can hear that beautiful sound this engine makes. Go ahead, close the door. And once you're inside, as you can see, this one does have a leather wrap steering wheel. Cruise control, your um, controls over here for the center display. And then in typical Chrysler fashion, your audio controls are on the back of the wheel. Now, obviously, this one is equipped with a pretty rare and uncommon option. Definitely, this is the first Challenger I've ever driven with this. The six-speed manual transmission. And I have to say, this car is a blast to drive with it. All the way over and up for reverse. Which will bring up your backup camera, as well as parking sensors. And then your parking brake is down below. Hold to release, push to engage. On the door, it's all padded material up top. Padded stitched leather around here, padded stitched leather on your armrest. Both your automatic front windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that over here. Door handle down below. Over here, all of your automatic lighting controls, push for fog lights, gauge shimmer, everything like that, and then your trunk release. Dashboard is all soft touch material, high quality. It looks and feels excellent. Around here, you can see uh, some more of the accenting inside. It's really nice, almost kind of carbon fiber looking trim. You can see the gauges. You do have your tachometer, speedometer, and then those aren't any warning lights. That's just letting me know the parking brake is on, uh, the headlights are on, and to put my seat belt on. But your center display right here can bring up all kinds of different gauges, uh, things like that, messages. You can have just a digital speedometer, your audio system, navigation, things like that. In the center, this one is equipped with Chrysler's Uconnect system. 
as I mentioned, it does have the um, Alpine audio system from the factory, which sounds fantastic. But AM, FM, um, satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, auxiliary and USB, all of that. Um, all of your different controls around the display, AM, FM, everything else, preset stations up top. You can go to your media, Bluetooth audio streaming, and everything like that. Climate controls, all of that right there. And then your different apps, as you can see. All of your different Uconnect apps and everything right there. Controls, this one is equipped with heated as well as vent ventilated seats for the driver and passenger. Control your auto dimming mirror from right there. As well as this one is equipped with a heated steering wheel. More of your controls. Navigation, which this one obviously is equipped with. And then your Bluetooth phone controls right there. Like I said, very, very simple to use. Around here, you have all the stitched leather around the, dis um, the center console. It's very, very nice. More of the carbon fiber trim around here. Your volume, tune, mute, uh, hazard controls, and then you can actually just turn the screen off from right there. Sport mode, and then your super track pack, as well as parking sensors and traction control. Pressing this will bring up all kinds of different drive modes that you can set up. This one is equipped with launch control as well. Then you can simply turn sport mode on and off from right there. Very, very cool system. Like I said, all of your controls there, and then your dual zone automatic climate control which you can bring up on the display, or you can control by right here. You have your physical buttons, defrost, fan speed, all that. Like I said, shifter for your six-speed manual. Two cup holders back here. Then you have a padded armrest in the center. Storage inside of there. Two USB ports and a power outlet. Seats are amazingly comfortable. Even with the suede in the middle, it's very grippy. It looks and feels fantastic. You have the TA badges, and these seats just hug you and hold you in so well. Up top, sunglasses container, as well as your interior lighting controls, sunroof controls right there. You can see your sunroof. And then on the side, your visors with built-in vanity mirrors. This will go to the side and extend just like that. We'll go ahead and step out, unlock all the doors, Driver's side window down and pop the hood right there. So let's pop the trunk. We'll step into the back seat from the other side, but to access it, nice and simple, seat folds forward. Like I said, we'll jump in on the other side. Inside of the trunk on this Challenger. As you can see, one nice part about these Challengers is you really get a massive, usable trunk. You can see this one does include all of your carpet floor mats still in the original packaging. Underneath all of that, you do have some storage, your inflator kit, and then your battery is back here. and hop in the back seat from this side. Nice and simple, just release from right here. And the seat will slide forward. And I am 6'2", and believe it or not, I can actually comfortably sit in the rear seat of one of these. The seat did just come back all of the way, but as you can see, like I said, I'm 6'2", plenty of space. You have two air vents in the center. Um, padded armrests, all of that on the side, and it's the same beautiful suede and leather back here, which it looks like no one has ever even sat back here. Armrest in the center, two cup holders, and everything follows through on this side. Like I said, it's really not a bad place to be in the back of one of these. Back seat pockets, and then you do have some lighting up top in the headliner. Those your handles. Go ahead and slide this back and that will your seatbelt goes in there make it a little bit easier to access over here storage 
power outlet, then inside of here, more storage. You can see this one includes all of your original owner's literature, then some of the original packaging. I believe this is for uh, your battery terminal. And as you can see, obviously, includes your state inspection certificate. This is all nice and felt lined as well. And you have even more literature and things that go with the vehicle. And up front, you can see the projector, HID headlights, as well as we'll go ahead, cut the fog lights on. Just press right there. And you can see down below your fog lights. So this is one thing I've always found interesting about the Challenger. These are actually open all the way through, just for even more air going under the hood. Now to pop the hood, nice and simple, just remove the pins and then your typical release right there in the center and this one is equipped with the 5.7 liter mini v8 everything under here is running fantastic it's in great shape you can see i'm not sure if this is part of the ta package or not it honestly looks like a factory part this one does have a cold air intake said great shape running fantastic this pretty much is a brand new car Let's go ahead and close that and then pop the hood pins back in go ahead bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Just cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key and headlights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.